Hey, deserving listeners, Big Ed, 90 Day Fiance, The Single Life. Let's watch. Headache. <laughs> yes, I do. You light up my world. So, will you move in? I'm waiting. So, the hypothesis that I've been trying to gather data around is how well Liz understands herself and understands what she needs and is differentiated enough to evaluate the best course of action given her, you know, given the circumstances of her life. I don't know, but this will be kind of a test, I think, because she has expressed a lot of ambivalence about the relationship. She doesn't even know if she wants to be with him necessarily. She, she knows that part of her wants to be with him. And she's talked about how there are some ups and downs. And she has also stated that she does not know if this is a long-term relationship. She's willing to you know, take it one day at a time, but she is definitely not wanting to talk about long-term. She has been divorced twice, twice, as she talks about, and she wants to take things very slow. And so in this moment, Ed is saying, I want you to move in. I suspect that if we could really talk with her, you know, take a time out and say, let's talk about this, you know, what do you want? I'm guessing if she had the space to really think about it, she would say, well, I'm not opposed to moving in with him eventually, but now is not the time. This is way too fast. So maybe in the future for sure, but but not now. I mean, why? We're, you know, we're, we're having a good relationship. There's no reason to do that. And I'm not comfortable with it. It didn't occur to me. So the only reason why I'd really be rushing this is because I'd want to be pleasing him, and I don't think I should be doing it for that reason. I, I'm just going to take a guess and say that that's what she would say. But let's see what she tells Ed in the presence of him in this moment. Thinking. <laughs> you just love to just push and make you make changes. You try to make me make changes so fast. It's not fair. Okay, so when I hear a statement like that, she says, you try to push me to make changes so fast, it's not fair. Okay, it sounds like she doesn't want to make the change. That I mean, because if she wanted to move in with him and she was just waiting for him to ask, she'd be like, oh my God, yes, I've been waiting for you to ask. But that's not what she's saying. She's saying, you're pushing me. And when we push people, that usually means they don't want to go in that direction, right? So that kind of implies that she's not into it. But, you know, it's also a good thing to say, just like, look, you're, you're really pushy and it, it really puts me in a weird position. But let's see what Liz says. Because, again, I'm guessing if she were not around Ed, she would say something like, no, I don't want to move in with the guy. We're just dating right now. I really have no idea if I want to see him in a month, let alone move in with him, especially with my child. <laughs> like, that is a huge commitment to... Uh, make him essentially stepdad overnight, like, that is a huge thing. So I'm guessing she would say, no, I want to date him, but I do not want to move in with him. Let's see if she will indicate something along those lines. But, you know, maybe she does want to move in with him, and I'm not reading the situation right. Hey, deserving listeners, as you all know, I am constantly recommending that people go to therapy. We all need therapy from time to time. Well, one of the options available that is definitely worth checking out is BetterHelp. If you're looking for a therapist, I would give it a try by going to betterhelp.com slash Kirk. Make sure you use the promo code Kirk because you get 10% off your first month and it really helps us out. As you watch these videos, I know many of you have been motivated to find your own therapist, which is great because you deserve it. And I know also that it can be hard to find a good fit, find the right one for you. Well, one of the options available in terms of your shopping is to go to betterhelp.com slash Kirk. I've been told you can start communicating with your therapist in under 24 hours. You can message your counselor at any time. Plus you can schedule weekly video or phone sessions. I've also been told that it's often less expensive than in-person therapy, and you should know that this service is available to clients worldwide. So go to betterhelp.com slash Kirk to get 10% off your first month today. But yes. Well, that makes me happy. Yes. Okay. So maybe I was reading it all wrong. <laughs> what do I know? I thought she would say no. Well, okay, what I thought, okay, so, <laughs> so there's two possibilities. One is that I'm completely reading the situation wrong, and she all this time has been thinking about moving in with him, and 
was much more ready for this than I thought she was. Maybe she's like, well, maybe, you know, maybe not. I wasn't thinking now, but I was thinking in a few months. So she seems to be indicating that. So that's one possibility. I'm not reading it right, which, of course, how could I? Because I'm just watching this edited show. The other possibility is that she actually is extremely ambivalent about this move. But because she's in the presence of him, she has a hard time getting in touch with her needs and her emotions and how she feels and the the red flags that maybe she's noticing. And she just says yes because she wants to please. Who knows? So can we go pack your stuff right now? <laughs> I want to move in with Ed, but I definitely feel like this will be a make it or break it living with each other. I feel like it's another journey. We're going to learn a lot about each other. I would not recommend that attitude of make it or break it. You know, it'll be an experiment. <laughs> and I'm bringing my child. Isn't Riley her child? So I'm going to bring my child. We're going to move in and we're going to see. Let's just experiment. I would not recommend that you experiment in that way. Right now, I want her to move in. I want um, her and I to continue to work on our communication and commitment issues. And then when it feels right, then I'm a, I want to make my move. I want to propose. You want to arm wrestle? Sometimes you should just not talk. <laughs> so that's another potential hallmark of pursuer distancer preoccupied avoidant dynamic where the preoccupied person will want to talk a lot and the avoidant person will just want silence. Not always but it is another data point in our hypothesis data gathering process. All right, well, that does it for that episode. Everyone out there, please take care of yourself because you deserve it. You really, really do.